Today we're continuing the theme of rebuilding the teams that got absolutely demolished in the postseason. So far we've done the Rays, the Mets, and now today we're doing the Blue Jays. The Blue Jays were one of those teams that did fantastic during the year. They had a little bit of, you know, upsets and things like that. That's going to happen during 162 games, but they looked very, very good up until that wild card. Oh my God. Whatever OB Legend said the pitching wins championships was 1000% right. We'll see if that happens with this game, but in real life, it definitely works. Because as a lot of you Jays fans know, that pitching staff just destroyed your hopes and dreams let's go and get this thing going and bring a championship back to the sink here we are end of 2022 the mets beat the mariners coaches what the heck yo what is happening with this game right now i don't understand it we got a lot to do we're looking for some pitching we're looking for some bullpen pieces and we're looking for some outfield depth that's what i think the blue jays need to focus on if they focus on those three things they're going to be so incredibly successful it's going to be ridiculous first guy up outfield depth we got Whit merrifield right here i actually don't mind him i'm just going to keep him as maybe a bench guy i mean his bat has kind Kind of fallen a little bit but i still like him for depth and being off the bench so i'm gonna keep him there next up anthony bass again keeping him too the guy's a great reliever at least in this game so i gotta do it of course now onto the actual free agency though let's go ahead and do some damage real quick for the free agents i'm going for a group of guys that i feel like is gonna make this team so incredibly good that we're gonna win well over 100 games next year first up chris bassett one year deal 25 mil it's a boatload of money but chris bassett has been one of the most consistent pitchers in his entire career and honestly that's what the jays need so i'm gonna be paying the price for it only one year deal because the guy is going to be turning 35 by the time we get him and for this game 35 is basically a death sentence i'm not trying to go too crazy after that taylor rogers again need some lefties need some good bullpen pieces pair them both together you get taylor rogers so i'm down after that with merrifield already went over that we'll see how he does he could suck and we'll trade him away by freaking may of next year i'm not really sure just yet but hopefully he does good next up kyle gibson another guy that might literally go out every single fifth day and just suck some dumpster residue he might end up next year being the worst player on this team but i gotta take the chance he's coming off a pretty rough year in philly and as you guys can see he's so incredibly weirdly inconsistent goes from being a good pitcher to a five era pitcher back to a five era pitcher back to a good pitcher back to a five era pitcher again dumpster residue you have no idea after that seth logo coming from the mets again the mets are cursed i hope he doesn't bring that thing with him but we'll see after that kevin kiermeyer as well we need some outfield depth this is literally what the guy does he just provides some good outfield depth i don't really feel good about the bat but hey what are you gonna do i can't really afford a brand Nimmo because the guy's 18 million a year. I can't afford an Aaron Judge. We got to get what we get. Let's get to 2023. Let's just go. And Seth Lugo went to the Royals. You know what? That's probably a good thing. Taylor Rogers. Okay, getting him too. I like what's happening here. Please, Eric, do it, bro. Do it. Spend a little dough, Stu. Even if Aaron Judge never, ever repeats the season he just had, still do it. Why not? Mess around a little bit. Have some fun. Either way, though, let's actually get to 2023 this time. Opening day of 2023. We're second overall, third in contact, first in power, and second. Second in pitching. That's actually mad surprising. I'm happy about it, but super surprising. Also second in defense and fourth in speed. Probably one of the best overall teams we've put together in a while, even though we haven't done much. So basically the MV rankings are blessing us. Either way, let's go and get into this thing. Let's see how we do. The rankings, to be honest, really mean nothing in the grand scheme of all of it. Oh my God, look at us. We're 34 and 10. Go off, boys. Keep it going. I'm not going to stop them. Come on. Around the trade line right now, the boys are going crazy. 73 and 33. I mean, come on. First and absolutely everything important, and we are looking so incredibly good. The only thing that I want to do is get a better second baseman. My boy Kevin Biggio just really hasn't cut it his entire time here so i'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of him but the guy's still got that a potential meaning that he still has quite a bit of trade value in this game so i'm gonna try to do my best to find a good second baseman that can replace him and make this team even better oh and i got an idea wait one freaking second please tell me oh we're close we're so close cardinals who do you want Looks like Cameron will do it. I'll take it. Biggio and Cameron for Tommy Edmond. That is a slam dunk of a deal. 100% I'll take that. And now in a legit ocean of right-handed batters, we get a switch with Tommy Edmond. I'm down. Also, who's doing the best on the team real quick? Vladdy doing okay. Teoscar, there we go. Found it, of course. Teoscar really is just too good. My boy's a killer. The bullpen's actually looking amazing. The only guy that's doing relatively bad is Trevor, and that's it. Not bad at all. We could use probably one more lefty in here, but hey, not bad. Let's see what we can do real quick for a lefty, but... Besides that, we're going to go ahead and try to keep this thing going. There we go. From the Pirates, we're getting Alex Vesia for Yusei Kikuchi and Trevor Richards. That's our lefty right there. We'll definitely take that. Add him into the bullpen. We're looking great right now. Let's keep this thing going right past the deadline and get to the end of the year. Come on. Let's go. Just like we predicted, 110 and 52. Well, actually better than what we predicted, but we did predict well over 100 wins. Awards, I got to check it. Kevin Gosman, Cy Young Award. There you go, baby. And then, oh my God, Teoscar got robbed, dude. Well, not really. Bregman did 
do better, but still, so close, dude. Came in second place. Everybody else, Bo Bichette, let's go, dude. Vladdy as well. The offense is there. The offense is definitely championship level. It's just that pitching. Teoscar, 47 bombs too. Jesus, dude. George, 40 home runs, 288. I mean, guys, what like? This is crazy. The offense is there. We just got to pitch. That's it. Just got to pitch. Let's see what we can do in the postseason. Come on. First Tampa. Here we go. This team's got all pitching and no offense. I should freaking know. I had to watch them all season. Alec Manoa versus Drew Rasmussen. There we go. Kevin Gosman versus Tyler Glass now. There we are. And then Chris Bassett versus Ryan Yarbrough. Won that one. Swept them. I mean, pretty easy, too. Who else is next? Cleveland. Wow. Alec Manoa. Okay. Versus Zach Plezak. Lost that. Oh, God. Please, Cleveland, don't do it to me. Kevin Gosman versus Aaron Savali. All right. Hey, stop it. Bassett versus Shane Bieber. All right, there you go. There you go. Alec Manoa versus Cal. There we go. Jose Barrios for Zach. Please, Zach. There we are. Kevin Gosman. Please, God, do something good here. Jesus, dude. All right, Chris Bassett. Let's go. What do we got to do to get some offense in this game? Zach Bunton on Salvador Perez. Okay, Josh Naylor. Thank God. Bo Bichette. Ground out. Tommy Edmond. Oh, God. Vladdy. Not a great start. Here we go. This might be the start that I'm looking for, though. Guriel. Pop out. Matt. All right, or I can just jinx him. Big sexy strikeout. I jinxed him. All right, cool, dude. And that's a double from Stephen Kwan. He doesn't stop. Miles Straw, too. Guys, oh, okay, Chris. All right, bro. Oh, God, he did sun me. I hate freaking Josh Naylor. I hate him with the passion. Why'd you gotta do it to me, bro? G-Man, come on. There we go. Vessia, please. Please, okay. All right, boys, we gotta make up four runs right here. That's at least a start. Come on. Come on, guys. Bottom of the eighth. Boba Shett. Ground out. Shane Bieber's still going. Tommy, fly out. Vladdy, 0 for 3. Make that 0 for 4. Oh, boy. Come on, guys. Shane is still trucking along. Teoscar. Never mind. I'm in no class A now. Teoscar. Single. There we go. George Springer. Fly out. Guriel. Fly out too. Matt Chapman. God dang it, dude. It still came down to pitching. Even when I didn't want it to, it still came down to pitching. Because we did have an ace out there that was a little bit better than Chris Bassett. Even though he did do well, but still gave up a four-run bomb or three-run bomb, but still four earned runs. If we had a Shane Bieber type player, it would have been completely different. Shane Bieber literally just murdered us. We'll see what happens here with the Guardians and they lose to the Mets. Okay. I'm parlaying the money that we paid with Chris Bassett into an ace right here. Oh my God. Just when I needed it too. Again, I was looking for the ace and we got money to spend this year. Realistically, show, hey, there's no freaking shot we get them, but I'm trying it. Come on. I'll offer the dude nine years. I don't care. Front loaded too. Screw it. I said I was going to spend some money because the Blue Jays can handle it and this is what we're doing. Shohei Otani, Clayton Kershaw. Again, parlaying that 25 million into 24 million for Clayton Kershaw. Herman Marquez, Anthony Bass, and then Manuel Margot to replace Kevin Kiermaier. There we are, dude. Let's hope we get everybody. And Shohei goes to the Yankees for 11 years. All right. Well, you know, that was quick. At least we get Clayton you know god dang bro holy crap 11 they're gonna pay him till he's like 41 i guess we go julio because he's also incredibly good we might do like the carlos correa type contract with him just three years 105 or something crazy he'll go back into free agency at 30 we'll hopefully win three world series by that point so there we are it should work out pretty good let's see if he signs that though if he's down for it i'm down for it come on and there it is, Julio. Thank you, my boy. That should be good. I feel great. Let's keep it going. We won 110 games last year, but somehow we got better this year. First in rank, first in contact, first in power, and first in pitching. I will go ahead and drop the mic if I could. The additions of Julio Urias and Clayton Kershaw into that rotation are going to be insane. Not to mention Herman Marquez. He's still incredibly good, and we're going to keep him in the bullpen. Like, come on. This is going to be nuts. The depth that we have on this team, please. Let's hope that this team performs to where it should perform. And that's honestly getting to a World Series. Let's see what happens. Unfortunately, this year, the league tightened up like crazy, but still 98 and 64 is very good. In the standings, I mean, look at this. Everybody was pretty much the same. The Yankees finished off below 500 and we by far, besides the Astros, did the best. So a very weird year, but awards real quick. Julio Arias for the Cy Young, Blake Guerrero for the Hank Aaron Award and the MVP. So good. 54 bombs at 337. Not to mention we signed this dude for $500 million. The dude's going to be one freaking rich boy by the end of his career. He's already rich, but still. The guys did amazing, but here we are. Let's get Cleveland out of here, all right? ALDS versus the Guardians. Alec Manoa versus Shane Bieber. Won that one this time. Julio Urias versus Aaron Savali. Okay, Julio lost that one. That's still fine. Pitchers duel. It's okay. It's going to happen. Jose Barrios versus Cal Quantrill. There we go. And then Kevin Gosman versus Shane Bieber. There we are. Versus the Astros. Now, this is the team that was by far the best in baseball. This is going to be the real test. Alec Manoa versus Lance McCullers Jr. Won that one 11-2. Julio Urias versus Christian Javier. 
Okay, lost that one by one again. Barrios versus Luis Garcia. Okay, lost that one too. Alec Manoa versus Jose. Won that. Julio versus Lance McCullers. Oh, God, Julio. And then Jose Barrios versus Christian Javier. There we go. Game seven. Kevin Gosman, Hunter Brown. Lost that one by one. Are you kidding me? Why is the ALCS our kryptonite? We go to game seven and we always lose. Holy crap. All right. The Astros beat the Braves. It was destined for them. I'm so annoyed. Run it back. Let's go. This year now, we're going for DeGrom, Gurriel back, Kershaw back, AJ Minter for our lefty in the bullpen, Mitch Hanniger, and then Adam Simber again. Let's get back to 2024 as AJ Minter signs with the Braves. Okay. Well, never mind. Hold on. Aaron Bummer. Let's hope we can get him. And DeGrom goes back to the Mets. All right. Everything's falling apart then, boys. We're so down bad. We're going one year of Pablo Lopez. Let's Let's just get going, okay? Let's just get it going. There we go. That's the Blue Jays I was looking for. 154. Awards real quick. Tommy Edmond for the gold glove. And that's it. I, I, we got beat out for a lot of the other stuff. And the Astros are looking completely insane once again. God dang it. Can they stop? Who are we facing first right now? Tampa Bay. Let's get going. Alec Manoa versus Drew Rasmussen. Lost that. Okay. Julio versus Luis Patino. There we are. 10 to 1. Burrios versus Shane McClanahan. Won that. And then Kevin Gosman versus Jaden Hill. Wow. There we are. Got that. Now we're facing Cleveland because they smacked the Astros. Now I'm a little bit concerned about Cleveland. All right. Alec Manoa. Want that 2-0. Well. That's fine. Julio Arias. <laughs> wow. All right. Barrios. Okay. Gosman. Thank God. 2-2. Two -two. Pablo. Let's go. There we are. And then Alec Manoa. There we go. Facing the Brewers in the World Series. I hate to do it to the Brewers because I love the Brewers. But Julio Arias. Come on. Lost that. Alec Manoa. Come on. There we are. one nothing. Holy crap, dude. They're not going to freaking stop. Barrios versus Eric Fetty. I swear to God. If we lose to Eric Fetty, I'll drop 50 push-ups right now. Barrios. Oh my God. All right, well, here goes nothing. I probably should have picked something a little bit easier because you guys are not going to be able to see this very good, but whatever. Here we go. One, two, three, four. 569 seconds later. 47. Oh God. 48, 49, and 50. Oh, oh my God. My arms hurt. Screw you, Eric Fetty. Also, don't do push-ups in a sweatshirt. I figured out why they call it a sweatshirt. Jesus, Julio Arias versus Angel. Please, God, don't you dare mess this up. <sighs> Lost it by one. I. Mm. This team is freaking testing me. Kevin Gosman versus Corbin Burns. There we go. Won that one. We lose to Eric Fetty in the other trash can, but we actually beat Corbin Burns. I don't get it. Alec Manoa versus Brandon Woodruff. Won that one by one. Now we're going in for game seven. Oh my God. Who the heck can we play a lock and as? Vladdy? Let's go. Here we go. Bottom of the second. It's three to two. We took the lead. Thank goodness. Nick Martinez is out there. Almost hit me with the curveball. All right. Come on, Vlad. Take it over in your house. Let's do it. That was way too far down. I thought that was actually not going to be that far down, but it was literally in the dirt. Good job, me. Nick Martinez is destroying us. Oh my God. He's pitched 56 pitches in five innings. Guys, stop it. How is Martinez dicing us up? Nobody's on base for us. No, nothing. A 1-1 one, one count though, please to Vladdy. That's an absolute bomb. Don't you dare go foul. That thing is curving. Thank God for the gigantic foul pole. That foul ball got some thick on it, just like Vladdy. Making it four to two as now it's five to four. All right, guys. Jesus, we stop it. How does a team with this much talent not have a somewhat easy postseason, especially a against the Brewers. How is the Brewers offense doing this right now? You're telling me that's not going to go bottom of the ninth and it's eight to five. I got a freaking lock in right now. This is the time that we can actually rewrite history. Come on, Vlad. Two guys on bottom of the ninth. Elimination game. Game seven. Let's get that good pitch. That was a dot, but thank goodness it was a ball. The one, two. I need us to put absolutely everything behind this swing. I mean, I hate this hitting you, but I got to make it work here. Come on, Devin. Give me a... I was going to say, give me a meatball. That was a great pitch, but they're protecting the lines. That's really not good. And we lose to the Brewers. Oh my God. This game will not stop doing it to me. Holy crap. Awards. Got Vladdy as the playoff MVP, but that is something crazy. I got to go one more year. I have to. This year we're back 97 and 65, but still taking on the winner of the wildcard game. The league leaders, we got Vladdy in runs and walks. So we know that our boy was absolutely killing it this year. First up, Alec Manoa versus Boston. Come on. Nine to three. There we are. Barrios versus Nathan Ovaldi. Ovaldi's still going. 2026. And we lost to him. Julio Arias versus Dustin May. Okay. Lost that one too. Kevin Gosman versus Nick Favetta. 10 nothing right there. And then game five, Alec versus Brayan. I swear to God, Alec, don't you dare. 18 nothing. I will take it. Now we're facing the freaking Royals. It's been so long that the Royals are making pushes here. This is stupid. All right. Barrios lost that, of course. Julio Arias. 
There we are. Alec Manover's Daniel Lynch. Lost it by one. Kevin Gosman. Okay. David Peterson. Asa Lacey. Ooh. Jose Barrios. Brady Singer. Of course. Game seven. What a surprise. Alec Manoa. And we're facing the Dodgers now in the World Series. I'm actually excited for this, but still, I don't have my hopes up exactly. With the Arias versus Walker Bueller. Lost it. Burrios versus Logan Webb. Wow. Lost that one too. Alec Manoa versus Shane Bieber. Of course, they got Shane Bieber. I hate this. And we beat him somehow. Kevin Gosman versus Griffin Canning. Lost that though. We beat the crap out of Shane Bieber, but lose to Griffin Canning. Epitome of this team. Jose Burrios versus Aaron Savali and got smacked in the World Series. Okay. Well, guys, I don't know what to tell you. We built one of the best teams I've built in a long, long time, but the freaking Blue Jays are beyond cursed. I hate this. I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. I hate to say it, but the coaches win again. <laughs>